relations between uh, Denmark and Egypt are very good. Uh, the Danish government would like to enhance our cooperation across the board in uh, all fields. Today we're looking at uh, the health sector. العلاقات بين مصر والدنمارك علاقات جيدة وممتازة للغاية وبتتجه في اتجاهات ومجالات مختلفة والآن في تركيز أكثر على مجال الرعاية الصحية. In terms of the pandemic, in, uh, were you able to and to manage uh, control in uh, the uh, coronavirus pandemic? And what about the vaccines uh, situation and upscaling and rolling out of uh, the vaccine in Denmark? The, uh, uh, the good news is that uh, just a few days ago, we started the reopening of, uh, of Denmark in shops and schools, most uh, most places. So we're. مارك في الفتح فتح المدارس فتح الأماكن العامة بعد إغلاق. And in terms of the vaccine, did you start the rollout? And uh, yes, we started the, the rollout of uh, of the vaccines, and it's moving ahead pretty well. We have the advantage in Denmark uh, that we have a very an excellent re- electronic registration of all patients and their conditions, so it's easy to do the prioritization. <laughs> So in terms of uh, the percentage of the population that uh, has been vac- vaccinated, had gotten the first dose, we are on the top of the European Union. Which type of uh, vaccine that, that is administered to citizens in uh, Denmark? Uh, it is primarily uh, Pfizer and AstraZeneca uh, that we're looking at. Uh, AstraZeneca with Pfizer. Uh, how do you see Egypt's management of the pandemic? Uh, and uh, there is. Uh, Egypt is doing uh, very well uh, under difficult circumstances, not least because of a high concentration of population. And if I may add one observation to that, it is that uh, I was particularly impressed with the way that Egypt handled the uh, responsible hosting of the World Championship in handball. ما تنساش كمان إنه مصر استطاعت كمان بالإضافة ده إنها تستضيف البطولة الكرة اليد بطولة العالم لكرة اليد. Unprecedented difficulties. وطبعاً ظروف غير مسبوقة وصعوبات غير مسبوقة ما واجهناش قبل كده. With players and teams coming in. أنتي تكلمي على طبعاً أعداد كبيرة من اللاعبين والفرق والمنتخبات اللي جاية نستضيفها. But through good planning. وفي طبعاً تخطيط جيد لهذه العملية. Egypt was able to handle the situation so at the end of the tournament there was no more. Corona in uh, in the tournament. لكن البطولة مرت بسلام ما شوفناش ما سمعناش إن في مثلاً بؤر أو عدوى أو كذا فعاد. And I know that the health authorities of Egypt had to be really innovative and stringent and do hard work to make that happen. But I also know that the International Olympic Committee is looking towards Egypt for the summer games to see how can this how could this be done. طبعا بتشوفوا يعني مصر عندها قدره قويه جدا على التطوير والابتكار كمنظومه صحيه في التعامل مع هذه الازمه لكن كمان عايزين نقول ان اللجنه الاولمبيه بتنظر لمصر عن كثب وبتراقب كل بتقول بتقوم بيه في هذا الاتجاه وبرده من اجل اداره الالعاب الصيفيه ان شاء الله في الصيف. But maybe this is not surprising. After all, Egypt is the country that invented medicine and the medical profession thousands of years ago. أيوة طبعا دي مش مفاجاه ولا حاجه غريبه لان مصر معروفه دائما في التاريخ ان هي من اولى الدول اللي اخترعت الدواء لعلاج الامراض منذ And الاف السنين we're all benefiting from that today وكل شعوب العالم هي بتستفيد من هذه هذا الابتكارات اللي كانت موجوده من الاف السنين so it's not surprising uh, that Egypt is today again rolling out very very ambitious plans uh, mm-hmm. for healthcare for all Egyptians which is resounding throughout the world And it's very ambitious طبعا هي مش مفاجاه كمان مره ان احنا نقول ان مصر بتضع وبت توسع في تطبيق خطط جيدة جدا فيما يخص الرعاية الصحية هذه ليست مفاجأة وطبعا دي كلها بتسمع في دول كثيرة من العالم وكل بيتابع هذا الأمر
طيب بالنسبه للسمنه باعتبار ان ترمز اوف اوبيسيتي المؤتمر كان بيتكلم عن السمنه the conference is talking about this topic we want to listen from you has is there what's the rate or how uh, much uh, obese persons are there and how do you handle obesity in uh, Denmark Obesity is a problem in every country in the world. Uh, it's perhaps less of a problem in Denmark than other places, uh, but I think this is also due, due to a, a long tradition uh, in this sense, and that we now have more modern tools. Saxanda, which is being the drug that's being uh, Uh, launched in Egypt now is one tool in the tool. يعني الدنمارك بسلاها مثل كل الدول عندها نفس المشكلة ولكن الدنمارك تعتبر حدتها أقل من دول كثيرة وربما يكون باستخدامها الكثير من الأدوات الفعالة في هذا المجال للحد من زيادة الوزن.